And so here in this example, this is very similar to example one, and really this is probably the type of problem your instructor would give you if they, if they cover this topic in this detail at all. So I want to look at this example, and then we have one further sort of more advanced example as well. And just to format the problem here a little more clearly, I'm going to just throw parentheses around the negative 2x plus 13. So getting started here with our template that we've been using, we'll let epsilon be greater than 0 and let delta equal, now it's going to turn out that we'll let delta equal epsilon over 2, and we'll see that in a moment. So suppose that 0 is less than absolute value of x minus 4 is less than delta. This is looking at absolute value of x minus a. Then the absolute value of the function f of x minus the limit result. Now we work with this and hope to conclude that this absolute value is less than epsilon. So doing some algebra on this, we have negative 2x plus 13 minus 5. So that's negative 2x plus 8. That's like absolute value of negative 2 times absolute value of x minus 4. That's a 2 times absolute value of x minus 4. That absolute value of x minus 4 is less than delta. But delta is equal to epsilon over 2. And so we quickly and easily get our result on this one, that absolute value of negative 2x plus 13 minus 5 is less than epsilon. And I tried to go more quickly through this one to hopefully convince you a little bit that once you really get some practice with these, they can go smoothly, even though it's very theoretical. And so here we've proven that for any epsilon describing an interval on the y-axis about 5, we can find a delta describing an interval on the x-axis about 4, such that for any x value other than possibly x equals 4 itself, within that interval, the corresponding y value will be close enough to 5. And that proves that this limit equals 5.